Okay. We are coming live from Occupy City Hall, but this is not a live from Occupy City Hall episode. Uh, we are, I'm here with, with Terry. Uh, so for anybody who's been keeping up with uh, things that have been happening regularly around the occupation, we have been dealing with some grumpy old white men uh, tearing down Shannon's and Faustus Memorials based on what's the ground because they live there they don't want to see it because they live no, there the owner the owner came and told me that it wasn't going to be in front of his place because you know property values and um it, the the shannon happened over 10 years ago and never had anything on this pole and just because of black lives matter we got to have something on this pole not gonna happen so, and again, this should be known. I know a lot of people watch these things and they don't understand law and public and private property. This light pole is on public property. This is public property. We do have the right to put this on a light pole. They also have the right to tear down uh, the memorial from the light pole. We have the right to film, putting it back up and to film them tearing it down. So everybody's within their rights. We've written a, hold on. We've written a message down here. Shannon Graves, again, murdered by the Rockford Police Department. There's not an expiration date on justice. Justice is not like milk or chips or, I don't know, do chips got an expiration date? But it's, justice has no expiration date. So it's no time limit in which uh, injustice is okay to have happen or it's okay to, uh, we're now in a place where, okay, let's just forget about this and move on to the next thing. Uh, Shannon Graves' family is without Shannon Graves permanently, forever. Uh, that's not something that they get to just choose to move on from one day or be tired of one day. Uh, and before, much before it was a slogan, Black Lives Matter, or an organization, Black Lives Matter, uh, or a movement uh, around Black Lives Matter, uh, these were issues that were being raised. When Shannon Graves was murdered by the Rockford Police Department, it wasn't as if nobody cared about it. It wasn't as if... Uh, his family and his loved ones and people in the community uh, didn't care that it happened then. Uh, they cared then the same way that they've cared now. One of the things that uh, has been an issue in this community and in this city is that the powers that be, the institutions that permit these things to happen, uh, they, they play into a war of attrition. They play into a war of attrition where, uh, where families, get, families get worn out trying to wait for justice for their loved ones. Families get worn out uh, fighting these corrupt systems that are uh, put in place to make sure that there's never justice. And so this is for Shannon Grace. And again, this has been taken down. We out in front of old city hall apartments. This is public property. Well, this is private property you're looking at, but this light pole is public property. Uh, the uh, two of the old, the, or I don't know how exactly the amount of number, but men from within here, have posed issue to these memorials being a, uh, based on the grounds that they rent within here. So they have regularly came down, uh, cut the faces of the memorials, torn down the memorials. Just earlier today, they tore down some that was up. So we're just filming, putting these up. And twice today, they've torn down the memorials that's been put up. So uh, they wanna tear down the memorials regularly. What we'll do is we just put them back up regularly. It's that simple. Uh, these things are here to stay. All these things are here to stay. The memorials, the chalk, occupation at City Hall. As long as the issues uh, that created these things are still in existence, then these things will still be in existence. Then these things will still be in existence until it's justice uh, for all of these families, not for an uh, isolated incident or for one family here or for one family there, until for justice for all of these families. And part of justice means it not happening again. Part of justice means it being acknowledged. Part of justice means it not being covered up or hid. And that's what's happening when these memorials get torn down. That's what happened when the chalk get washed away. That's a, uh, a demonstration of what these institutions do. They, they try to wash these things away. They try to tear these things down. And they can and they and them doing it, them doing it, those institutions is what empowers individuals to do it. Because it was after, again, it was after the institution of the city of Rockford government began washing the chalk away and power washing the chalk away that uh, civilians and people outside began to try to come in with water to, to wash the chalk away. 
because those individuals took that cue from the institution. Same thing with these memorials. These memorials first started getting torn down by institutions. And the institution is what gives the... Uh, is what gives the uh, gives the example to the individual that it's acceptable to engage in these actions. You see, and so once the city started tearing down the memorials, then the white vigilantes came out to tear down the memorials. We gonna start leaving more messages and talk over here too. And, that, and really that's, it's, it's going to slowly, it's just a slow spread. It's a slow process. Again, Faust and Guaytigo was just murdered. The same reasoning that they gave for tearing down Shannon Graves, that it had been 10 years. And so that's why I needed to be torn down. It had been too long. Completely contradicts uh, the evidence given about Faust and Guaytigo because Faust and Guaytigo was just murdered and they're tearing this one down the same. The same thing is the idea that because it's close to their property is the reason that it's torn, being torn down. That goes completely against uh, logic because this one is you have to go out your way to come into this one and tear this one down and it's still being torn down. And so you will see regularly uh, these racist people, these uh, these racist individuals give uh, these personal prejudice reasons for their actions. But the overall ideology, the overall uh, consciousness, the reason that they are engaging in these activities is because of the institutional racism that's happening. If the city was uh, treating these memorials, right, with the same type of uh, preeminence that they're treating their, these murals that they have around town, you notice the murals ain't been defaced yet. You notice the murals ain't been defaced yet. Some of them might. I, I should not say. I probably shouldn't say that online. Okay, I shouldn't say that online. Okay, anything else you want to say? All right. Yes, definitely fuck the police. All right, so Faust and Guay Tigos, back up. Shannon Graves over here, back up. And so I'm sure that our group over here come, tear them down. After they tear them down, they're going to go right back up. They tear them down. We're going to put them right back up. Uh, they, these people have been filmed before, and they, they don't seem to have any type of uh, what shame, no type of shame. But we will, can't be, shamed. can't be shamed, but we will do our best effort to, when these get torn down, to be down here to film them getting torn down. But also, let me do this too. If you see the street, if you have, it's a one way right here. So you'll get stopped at this light. Keep an eye on for me, because I know people have been good at keeping an eye on some of these memorials. Keep an eye on this memorial right here on Walnut and... What street is this? First. Walnut and First. Okay, let me try. Let me do this. Okay, so I'm going to end this video right. So this is Faust and Guaytigo. Rest in power. This is Shannon Graves. Rest in power. This is Walnut. This is First. This is the Old City Hall Apartments, all right? So when you're driving down here, you, you will get stopped at this light primarily. Keep an eye out to see if you see anybody tearing these down. If you see them tearing down, take pictures and videos uh, and heckle they ass. If you see them down over there, tearing them down, take pictures and videos and heckle they ass. Uh, again, these are people that's tearing down memorials of people that's been murdered by institutional violence, by police terrorism, mass incarceration and racial injustice. See, the problem that we have in this city specifically is that the white people here have been too comfortable in their racism. They've been too comfortable in their bigotry. They're too comfortable in their prejudice. And they're comfortable because of silence and complacency. And so everybody has to do their job to disrupt that silence and complacency. And so when you see somebody doing some racist shit, make sure you tell them about themselves. Make sure you film them. Make sure you take pictures of them. Make sure that they are historically documented uh, as to where they stand ideo uh, ideologically. Because we cannot get to any type of solving of this problem until everybody comes out about where they stand. And so I applaud these men. I applaud these men. They come down, tear down the memorials. That's them speaking their truth to power. That's them telling the truth. If, if Tom McNamara was more uh, courageous in that, in that manner, he would come and tear down the memorials himself too instead of sending other people out. 
So at least they coming out and they show them where they stand. Now it's our job to make sure that anybody who knows these people or know uh, who these people connected to or they uh, anything that would do with these people, make sure everybody know where they stand. That's what it become our job to do. Make sure everybody know where they stand and then let's see underneath that type of pressure if they continue to stand in that manner with that type of boldness. But that's what we need. We need everybody to come out to the forefront with exactly how they feel and then we need to make sure that the world sees exactly how they feel and then we need to see how they deal with the pressure of the world seeing and knowing who they are and exactly how they feel about these issues. That's all we got to do. That's all we got to do. We outside.